Thanks for coming on the show. I'm happy to be here. What was that? What was what? You like, you drew out your eye for a very long time and it was really weird. Uh, You're doing it again. I don't know what you mean. Must be a West Deedle thing. So the video you have just watched was all generated with the AI. The voiceover was the AI, the lip syncing was the AI generated, even the expressions was the AI generated. So in short, the whole video was the AI generated. So how all of these things work? Let's find out. So if you're following this channel, you probably know that I have already covered our detailed video on the Hedra AI that was the similar tool where you can just upload your image, you can give it any audio and the AI will generate the complete video with expressions and lip syncing in it. But that was the only tool at that time. But today we have the Infinity AI that works almost the same but in a better way. So the interface of this AI tool is very simple. You just have to upload the image, you have to upload the audio. And here we have the video section where we have some kind of settings. So I'm going to explain all of these things in a detail. So first of all, we need any image. So we have two options here. You can select the pre-generated character. So if I click on the character list, you can see we have all of the different pre-generated characters with some actors with real life examples. And we also have the Sora lady here. We have the Donald Trump. So you can also select these images, but we even have the built-in text to image generator. So let's give it any prompt like a close-up of a woman with expressive face and hit generate. All right. So this is the output image. Yes, this is a good image, but not super realistic. So to make the super realistic images, you can use the ideogram or any other AI image generator. So let's say I have this image generated with the ideogram where woman where this woman with expressive face and angry face looking at two guys. So we're going to use this image. And again, in the audio section, we have the pre-generated audios. So you can select the audios from their library and you even have the built-in text-to-speech model. So I just typed a very simple dialogue. You have no idea what you have done. Let me tell you, once I find him, I will kill him in front of your eyes. So this is my voiceover. You can also try your own voice, by the way. So we have the built-in characters. So let's try this British man. Let's see how does it sound. So click on generate audio. You have no idea what you have done. Let me tell you once I find him, I will kill him in front of your eyes. So this was the output audio, but we need the female character. So let's try this Amelia. You have no idea what you have done. Let me tell you once I find him. I will kill him in front of your eyes. Well, this is not bad, but this is very generic audio. So in this case, you can use the 11 labs, which is the free text to audio generator. So here you can see we have a list of voices. But if you go to the library, here you can see we have a list of voices generated by the community. So you can also classify these voices based on their character or animation, social media, whatever you want. You, you tell the others, tell them that this is the voice of a serial killer. One so evil that the devil himself. This is so much better, right? Now I'm planning to use the Jessica voice and listen to this. Well, well, look what we have here. A ranger caught off his guard. So what do you plan to do with that sword? I'm going to guess nothing. Impressive. Because I have already generated a voice with this character, so I'm going to use this voice. Now in the video section, we have some settings like you can control the pixels. More pixels means more quality video. And then we have the option to crop the face. So if your character is too far, you can you can enable this button to, to get the better results. Then we have the more stable option. If you enable this, your character will not move too much. So I will recommend to turn off this feature because our image is very closed up. So I'm going to disable the face crop feature. And next we have the option to generate the number of videos. Let's say two and hit submit. All right, so this is the output video and let's watch this. You have no idea what you have done. Let me tell you, once I find him, I will kill him in front of your eyes. Well, this was very expressive. Just look at the lip movement. Just look at the expressions, her eyebrow, her eyes movement. Each and everything looks very expressive. Yes, we have some issues. You can see uh, some kind of, you know, morphing or uh, glitches around the lips. But other than that, this is amazing. Yes, the video quality is not really good, but this is a good video. Now let's try the same image inside of the Hedra AI. So let's upload our image. And uh, inside of this section, I'm going to upload my audio. And let's generate the video. Okay, so this is the output from Hedra. You have no idea what you have done. Let me tell you. Once I find him, I will kill him in front of your eyes. 
Yes, the output is not bad, but the woman is not as expressive as the Infinity AI. The video quality itself is very good, but this is not as expressive as the Infinity AI. The woman looks very calm, even though the woman was looking very angry in the initial image, but in the output, the woman looks very calm. But other than that, the video quality is good. Now here is the one more output from the Infinity AI. You, you tell the others. Tell them that this is the voice of a serial killer, one so evil that the devil himself is afraid. And this one is from the Hedra AI. You, you tell the others. Tell them that this is the voice of a serial killer, one so evil that the devil himself is afraid. Both of them looks good but in my opinion Hedra AI performed really well this time. So the major thing that you will notice in the Hedra AI and the Infinity AI is the video quality. But the Hedra AI is on a paid plan but they do offer 5 videos a day for free but the Infinity AI is totally free at this moment while I'm recording this video but I don't know how long this will be free. So if you are working on AI animations or if you want to create something for your AI movie you can check out the Infinity AI. So that's it from today. I hope you guys learned something new and if you guys did, do give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.